is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampire Amazon with the Salazar Coven. We are picking up in Selva Dorada for the Autumn Caravan with our Coven. So, you guys will have seen in the beginning, we did have some interesting snapshots of our Queen and Scholar Lady Oriana in Sulani. So, yes, after they arrived. In Salvadorada, the Queen and the Scholar went on a short journey over to Solani so that they could attend the Solani Alliance, which is a holiday event that we have in our Mermaid Amazon series on Patreon, where the Queen essentially renews the treaty she has with the mermaids, keeping up with all of the big news items like the heiresses being born, any deaths that have happened, who's going to become next Queen in either clans, and also just to reinforce the fact that the vampires and mermaids are happy ruling their own queendoms without invading each other's space. So that's essentially what you saw there, it was the end of that whole process, we had an episode dedicated to it in Mermaid Amazon, and uh, the tail end of it was essentially just the queen enjoying herself in the waterfalls of Solani. So now we are back and the ladies are picking up in the evening at this plaza so I kind of thought a bit of downtime would be nice for the ladies and before we jump in I just want to say a very special welcome to my channel members thank you so so much for your support I appreciate it immensely now one of the things which is kind of big that I want to touch on before we kind of dive in to seeing what these ladies want to get up to I uh, back in February, put a poll to you guys asking you if you wanted me to change the format or how you wanted me to change the way I'm doing my Mermaid Amazon, not Mermaid Amazon, geez, the way I'm doing my Vampire Amazon videos. So I had a poll out for a couple of days where I asked you guys whether I should keep our episodes in the current format, so 6 minute diary episodes and then 25 to 30 minute gameplay episodes, or if I should switch things up. So some of the options I laid out for you guys, the first one we essentially had only have gameplay episodes, so get rid of the diary system. The second one was keep the diaries but make the gameplay episodes longer, so 35 to 40 minutes. And the third option was to do 50 minute gameplay episodes every week and then only do diary when I need to for the story, like we did for Generation 3. Now, 57% of you voted for me to keep the diary episodes but make our gameplay episodes longer. So starting from this month, we're going to be having longer gameplay episodes in between our diary episodes. So we're going to have videos running uh, 40 minutes or a little bit over, so I am very excited for that because it means we'll get to pack a lot more things in our uh, videos and also we'll be able to spend more time with the ladies. Sometimes I feel as though we are just catching up with things that have happened in the diary episode and then our ladies are gone within 25-30 minutes and I just feel as though I didn't get enough time with them. So I'm glad we get to deal with all of that. Now our queen is in her second trimester. Let me check. No, she's in her first trimester. What am I saying? What am I saying? The queen is in her first trimester. So she is pregnant once more. And I know guys, unfortunately, Sol had twin boys. And for whatever reason, Sol is not that happy with the queen. But she had twin boys again, which I was so upset by because I thought we would finally get the girls or a girl that we wanted. Unfortunately, it looks as though this is gonna be it, guys. I don't think we're gonna be having another runnery. <laughs> so why? I think the Ron Reed line is ending with Soul, which makes me so immensely sad, but that is essentially what's going on over here. That is essentially what's going on. Soul is not going to be continuing uh, her bloodline, and that breaks my heart, but what can I say? Things are progressing in the way they are, and yeah, I guess the Salazars are going to be the only ancient line left. And I guess the dragons could count as another ancient line because they are descended from the Salazars. So we have two ancient lines, but uh, yeah, that's kind of sad. Didn't think it would happen this soon. Um, and the legacy of our warrior champion ladies who all look like one another, well, that's going to disappear in this generation. That just breaks my heart, but what can I do, guys? What can I do? 
Now, I'm quickly just going to have a look at the relationship between Sol and the Queen. Because this is an interesting relationship. So, Sol. Oh, okay. Well, the last time we were having a look at this, obviously Sol had some negative feelings for the Queen, but that's gone away, I guess. They're happy now. I mean, Sol's impressed by Wisteria. They're closer from happy memories, so that's great. Okay. I mean, I have no problem with that. Also, Demarcus over here. Let's quickly just have a look at the vampire that the queen is... Um, whose child the queen is currently pregnant with if the game decides to generate him in this panel for us. Come on, I want to show people what you look like, Demarcus. Are you going to work with me? I don't think Demarcus wants to work with me. But anyways, Demarcus McAllister was made by Sweet Tart 2016 on the gallery. I'm 99% sure. So, there we go. Uh, you have Yosem over here. You can kind of see him down there. He's got blue hair. He's got the white eyes that Lord Art has. And he's got Soul's skin tone. So I guess this was my desperate way of having a sim or trying to get a sim. A female in the future that has soul skin tone because all the babies that have been born they're very fair They're very fair babies including uh, two dragons and then princess Aphrodite who looks very much like Queen Athena So yeah, we don't have any uh, dark skin children and then Yuki Yuki looks uh, like Oriana. I feel I feel as though I'm looking at a baby Morgana Morgana I think it was Morgana, wasn't it? We pronounced it Morgana. But uh, where is Yuki? Hold on a second. Oriana, where's your little girl? Where's your little child? <gasps> has Yuki... Oh, no, she's a toddler. I was going to say, has she aged up? We can't see her over here. But Yuki looks very much like a fair little devil's our child or a Morgana devil. So, yeah, we don't have any of our dusky sims around us. And the Rana Reigns for a long time were the dusky, like the Sims, who were absolutely stunning, blindingly beautiful. And uh, now that's gonna end. That is so, so sad. So, so sad. But that's just the way things are working out, guys. That is just the way things are working out. Now, who's thirsty? Oriana's thirsty. Who else is thirsty? Uh, just Oriana. Luckily, Zora has a bunch of potions that she can hand out, so we'll do that, and our vampires will be satiated but also I'm tempted to just get the vampires to drink from some of these guys I mean why not so I wonder if we can get his nighttime I think it'd be good for us to go hunting if we want so let's kind of have a look so this is the plaza that we're currently at now I don't know if I have noted down who made this because I think I put this plaza down like a long long time ago so, it's called, let's quickly have a look. I don't think I changed this. It's called Balampulsa Plaza. So you guys could probably find it under that. It is a bar. But if I can, if I can hunt, if I can hunt for the creator somewhere in my notes, I might have written it down somewhere, then I'll put it in the description. If not, then I'll at least put the name of this down. I'll try and find it on the gallery. I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to work something out. But look at how cool this looks. It is a bar. You have a dance floor over here. You've got the bathrooms. Um, you've got a little bit of a bar in this area. And then you have kind of different uh, sections of it. I guess this is the research area. So if you're an archaeologist or an explorer, you can come here to do a bit of research. This kind of feels like, I don't know if it's a... It could be a store, but I don't think so. I think this over here is probably where it's like an archive almost so it's i think it's where they keep their collection of things like artifacts and cultural items so this is where they keep them here and the computer they obviously log things there if you go upstairs you have the continuation of the um archaeology area so i've got a little uh, kitchenette over here and then look at this you have even more artifacts lying around things for guys uh, and gals people things for people to research um, on this side is where you have all of the rooms you can stay in so this is also like a bit of a tavern a bit of a stay you could say and uh, some of the visitors folks they could come and rest overnight over here so that's kind of cool a little outdoor seating place and then we have this really 
pretty spot. Hold on a second. I'm just stumbling over some of my words. Don't mind me. But look at this. This is a really pretty spot out back. And it is nighttime, so we get to relax a little bit out here. But I wanted you to go hunting, actually. I think I wanted you to go hunting. Now, I was hoping that we could find someone outside. And that way, it wouldn't be too dramatic. But let's see. Who's this person? Can we hunt this person? Let's drink this person's plasma. Now, we haven't really had anything too dramatic in the way of Sims drinking plasma happen just yet, but I think now that the queen is starting to put a foot down and being very, very, um, like terrifying, tyrannical, you could almost say, making tyrannical decisions, then I think our vampires are gonna start returning maybe slowly to the way of life that was a bit more vampiric so she's gonna she's gonna go and drink come on we're gonna try and drink from him we have potions so she could use a potion but i want to try and make it so that hold on a second okay autonomy is on full i want to try and make it so that she goes and um does more vampiric things and why does soul keep having this little thought bubble that's canceling out wisteria i'm i'm confused at why that's a thing Oh, come on, can you not drink his plasma? Come on, Ariana. I don't know what it is. I guess she can't. What about this guy? We need to try and find some prey items. Let's go and drink from some folks. I don't know what's going on with her. She's not drinking from them. We have a lot of prey items. If you just concentrate, maybe you can drink from them. No, she's not doing it. Is she stuck? Let's come here. It doesn't seem as though she's stuck. Let's try drinking from this guy. Maybe they're trying to all go away and so something's not, something's canceling out. I don't know. Come on, here he comes. Maybe she's in a conversation with the other ladies and they're distracting her. Yep, that's, uh, that's kind of frustrating. Cause I want her to, I want her to go hunting. I want you to hunt. Because all of the re like the rest of her needs are fine. So I feel as though it's a waste to just use the potions. Since we're in Salvadorado, we don't have a cauldron. Actually, I guess we could just dump one down here somewhere, but... You know, we want to try and make our potions last as long as possible. There we go, there we go. So now she's drinking from them. We'll probably have some horrified folk. <laughs> ah, being terrorized with a vampire. Still just walk past, like, ah, oh, that's fine. Just Oriana drinking from a sad soul. That's completely fine. Nothing strange about that. Nothing strange at all. Okay, so that's good. She got herself a drink. If any of the other ladies want a drink, then feel free to go hunting. I encourage it fully. The queen, no doubt, is happy by this. Very much so. And Zora, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Zora. Zora is exhausted. She's so tired. Now we could get a... Um, a sleep replacement here, which I think I might just do. So, we can say this was an extra potion that Zora had. Because the rest of it needs a fine. So let's try and just drink this sleep replacement and see if that helps Zora. But I think just having a night out, enjoying themselves in somewhere that's a little bit different. The autumn caravan is gonna be like the day of the autumn caravan. Well, it is now. 12 a.m. Thursday, yeah. So it is supposed to be today, but we kind of started a night early. We came a day early so that these ladies had some time to get settled in. It's kind of like a vamp fest almost. So there we go, her energy's up, excellent. Now we're gonna go through and just see what some of the ladies want done because I think I did, I guess Sol and Oriana already completed what they wanted. Um, Zelda wants to ask about the jungle. So I guess we could question some of the folk here. Like this elf. We love the elves. Let's ask this elf about the jungle. Could we ask Oriana? No, we have to ask someone from here, right? Yeah. It's okay. We'll ask the elven folk. Numerous spiders and bees call the jungle their home, and they don't like visitors. If you're logical enough, you can step carefully through the jungle and avoid these dangerous pests. Now, some of our ladies have come here before. Not Zelda though, so she's very curious. 
but Oriana and Sol have made the trip to Salvadorada once before in order to get the artifacts. Now, when was this trip? I think it was back in February? I think they made the trip back in February. It's June now. Whoa, time flies by. Time flies by so much. But they haven't come to this part of town. They just went straight into the jungles. This time around, we're not here to go into the jungles. We're just here to check out the culture and enjoy ourselves. It's like a, a vacation almost for these ladies. Uh, similar to what we have for the winter escape. This is the autumn caravan. So we're getting many things accomplished. Now, luckily for these guys, they're going to stay here for a bit. I think the queen is just happy to stay out her pregnancy in a different location. Um, just have different influences on her, you know? So what's this? She wants to be friendly with Lady Soul. So I guess this trip is also a trip that's helping her and Lady Soul heal over. Be friendly? Be friendly? Let's give her a compliment. A heartfelt compliment. So this is definitely a trip that's helping the Queen and Lady Soul heal over. Because ever since the tournament, Soul has been very salty towards the Queen. And uh, things have not been going as smoothly between them. But I think over the past couple of episodes, I'm starting to see that they are warming up to each other again. Or at least Soul is warming up to the Queen. And I think this... This escape... Oh jeez, this caravan, I was about to, I don't know, something was lodged in my throat. Anyways, um, yeah, so I think this trip is definitely going to help them uh, get on each other's good side. So, oh come on, we'll try and do, is that a friendly thing? A smooth apology? Let's try and apologize to her. Hopefully that counts as a friendly thing. But look at these ladies, they're having their drinks, they're having a good time, we have a bunch of elves around the place. So there we go. That's great, that's great. But come on, come on. Now yes, both of Casey's uh, twin sons, they have been sent to live in his estate to be raised by his elven manservant. So we have that happening. Because he is in the army. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's happened. Okay, Zora, Zora, you're hungry. You also want to be playful. So let's see if we can get Zora to grab some food. Yeah, let's let's grab some food. Actually, I wonder if we could go to the stall. There is a stall. Darn it, it's closed. Because it's 2 a.m. Hmm. Well, at least we have the bar. Let's try and just um, order some food, if possible, please. So she's gonna get that. So I guess if I really wanted to, I could just plop down a cauldron somewhere here and we could send Zora over and she could make a bunch of things. Cause I don't think we can put down a cauldron where they stay. So they, they are very close to their abode. So this is the plaza right here and then the place they're staying at is right over here. So look at that. You just kind of come out this way, you follow the path, past the market. And this is where the ladies are staying at. Um, I don't think I can change the um, the place in build mode. If I could, then I would go ahead and maybe move one of these tables and put down a cauldron, but I don't think I can. I don't think I can. So there we go. We have that going on. And also, if I have the creator's name of this lot, then I will try and put all of those things in the description too. I typically am good about that, like putting the new lots that I show on the... Oh my goodness, why are you so pixelated, Zora? Zora, why are you so pixelated? Guys, Guys, what happened to Zora? Zora, what happened to your face, honey? Look at this. Oh, okay, there, there we go. She's fine. <laughs> She's fine. I don't know what was wrong with her. She was having a bit of a bit of a trouble. A bit of a trouble. A bit of trouble. Jeez. She was having some problems. She was having some problems, essentially. Don't know what was going on there. But once she's done eating, how can we make her playful? She doesn't have enough points for a playful potion. So I'm wondering, how do we make her playful? Um, watch comedy channel, perform funny socials. So perform funny socials with the queen maybe? And Zora? Let's do that. Let's try and do that. Let's make a vampire pun. Let's go ahead and joke about politicians. Let's try and have an inside joke. Because look at that. She's, and Zora too. 
Zora 2 has made quite a bit of progress with both uh, Zelda. Look at that, she's friends with Zelda. Zelda and the Queen. So that's awesome. I think, you know what it is? I think ever since the the battle with the ambassadors, because Zora was the lead alchemist and she's the one who kind of made the killing blow. Even though we had our... Oh, bup, bup, she's playful. Even though we had our army and the commander, she was actually the one who made the decisive move. So I think ever since then, she's started getting a lot more respect in the coven. Um, people have started acknowledging her abilities. So that includes Zelda. Zelda doesn't see her as a bumbling fool to be bullied or pushed around anymore. She actually, you know, sees Zora as an alchemist, a useful alchemist. So I think um, she's kind of made a friend in that regard, which I feel very happy for Zora. I feel very happy that Zora could do that without having to scheme. Yes, she had to do something she wasn't happy with, and uh, we'll just have to see with time whether that's something she, the killings that she did is something she can uh, accept or that's something that's going to plague her emotionally later on but it helped her it helped her fit into the coven she did what was needed and um yeah the queen is very very appreciative of that and zelda respects her for it so there we go there we go that makes me really happy that they have at least that uh, going on. Okay, Oriana, Oriana, can we take a shower somewhere here? Maybe we can. Let's come and take a shower. We'll try and get that arranged. So I'll try and do that. Everyone else's needs good? I think so. Okay, let's see what other whims they have. And honestly, guys, I'm happy for them to stay out the night over here. Um, maybe, I guess, as the sun starts coming up. Should we send them back to the uh, their abode? Maybe. I just feel like there's more things to do here. Which is why I was having them stay in this place. Or at least I started the episode off here because I feel like there's more for them to do. Um, I mean, we have the markets and whatnot. It just feels fun, you know? It feels fun. So, maybe it is uh, it is daytime, so I can't send Oriana to uh, survey for dig piles. She could have done that. She could have done that, but I can't send her out anymore. Um, I think we'll just stick around here. Because we could send them to the abode, but then... Yeah, we won't be able to do much in the abode. There's not a lot of... It's a great place to stay, but there's not a lot of resources in the abode. So I think it's best if we kind of just stick here and get things they want done. I don't know. What do you guys... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we also have a sanctuary over here. Deep in the jungle. Oh look, it's the autumn caravan. We have a sanctuary over here. A sanctuary that has no animals. Um, even though it was made for animals, it's a bit of an abandoned sanctuary. And I had grand plans for this um, years ago when I initially put it down, but then uh, I ran into a bit of a problem. Because this isn't a residential lot, and I don't actually know if you can make it. I don't think you can make it a residential lot, which is a bit problematic. And you need it to be one for you to have animals in it. But I, I thought we would have all sorts of exotic creatures and that would be really interesting and fun, but... It's kind of the way things have worked out. So it's a bit of an abandoned place for now. It is an abandoned sanctuary. But that's a really awesome spot as well. Um, but okay, well, you guys, maybe we should head back home. It is the daytime, so, and it, it is the time, it is the autumn caravan now. So maybe we should head back to our boat. So we'll try and get the queen to do that. Oh, that's nice. They're gaining sentiments for each other. So let's do that. And the butler has also come with us, which is amazing. So we have a butler helping us out in the vacation. And that makes me happy, honestly. So actually, let's let's head back. Oh my goodness, queen, you're pixelated. Queen, my queen, you is pixelated, honey. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks so terrible. That looks so bad. <laughs> oh wells, oh wells. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back to if, if it doesn't take eons to load. 
Please don't take eons to load. Please don't have an issue. Things have been running fairly smoothly up till this point. I have I have big hopes. Oh my goodness. I'm concerned, guys. I'm concerned. You know what? If we safely reach the other side, then I'll see you then. Then I'll see you then. Oh. She moved. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I don't have to see you then. We can continue. Okay. So, the sanctuary is called Salvadorada Rescue Camp. So, I don't think... It is a clinic. Right. There's a clinic. Okay. Well, that's cool. That works out then. So, that is a clinic. Maybe we should... I guess night time would be appropriate. Maybe for now, we'll return to the, um, not court, but wherever we're staying. We'll return to where we're staying. And then maybe when it's nighttime, we can go check out the rescue camp to see how things are going. Apart from the rescue camp, we also have the trailhead spa that we could head to if we wanted. So there are a few things, but I don't think we want to go to the jungle side of things. I think we want to stick to the uh, marketplace because this is where we have come to visit the marketplace. So yeah, when nighttime descends, it might be a good idea to check out the rescue camp, I think. For now though, let's head back to where we are staying and we can let the ladies just relax, have some downtime with each other and whatnot. I think that might be quite nice quite nice indeed so there we go also do you like the loading screen i got a new cc loading screen i'm very happy with it reminds me of the sims 3 supernatural and i think it looks so much better so much better just these colors you know it just looks so much better than whatever the original blue loading screen is that comes with the sims 4 honestly don't even know what they were doing with that okay ladies time to go inside so everyone, let's uh, let's head on inside. I mean, you don't all have to sit around the table, but I just want them to get out of the um, the sun, cause we don't have immortal ladies. We don't want them to die, except for Zora. Zora can do what she wants. I always forget that Zora is an alchemist and she can be out in the sun. Um, and whenever I send the vampires inside a building, I always send her too. Like, I start freaking out when I see Zora outside. And then it takes me a bit to remember, hold on a sec. Zora is an alchemist. She can be out in the sun without an issue. But it is raining. So this is essentially the um, place they're staying at. So it is quite close. Everything is like close quarters. Um, so I haven't playtested much. We might have some routing errors, but it looked pretty. Look, we have a room over here. We've got a dining room and all sorts of odd angles. We've got a living room. Uh, for example, I don't think we can reach the fireplace. Uh, we have the kitchen over here, a pool outside, upstairs, we have uh, this little area, we have even more rooms, just rooms and rooms everywhere. Um, and then upstairs, oh, look at that, another room. So, great place to stay. Not the most excellent in terms of mobility, but it looked pretty, so I didn't think that far ahead. But it's functional. It's functional. And really, that's all that matters. So, let's, let's have a look what these ladies want to do. Um, eat a Salvadoradian meal. Honey, if you eat a Salvadoradian meal, you are going to throw up because you can't handle foods. You only like drinking plasma stuff. And level up in writing over here, you don't have your printing press. Beat another vampire? Highly unlikely. Give me something that I can help you with. Give me something I can actually help you with. I don't think we have a bonfire. It says we're near one, but I don't think so. Um, and we don't have anyone to ask about Salvadoradian culture because, I mean, I mean, ask about the jungle because, um, right now you're just stuck with the ladies. So give me something you can do with the ladies, please. Give me something you can do with the ladies. Um, chat about Salvadoradian culture. Does it have to be with, um, click on a local? No, give me something else I can do. This is bonding time for you and the ladies as well. Do you not want to build a relationship with anyone here? I mean, Orion is too busy being in love with Art, which is fine by me, but... Look at Zelda, making an effort. Look at that. And everyone's kind of squeezed into this little room. And look, we have a butler. We have a butler to help us out over here. So that's kind of nice. Play in the rain. Do you want to die? Do you want to die by playing out in the rain? Oh my goodness, look at her. She's having all these impossible whims. Give me something I can function with, honey. Nope, she refuses to. She doesn't want to. She, she doesn't want to. She refuses to do anything that will remotely make sense. 
Now what's this? Oh yeah, she's feeling... Oh, she saw a mounted fish somewhere, now she's upset. This was one of the reasons why the queen picked Oriana to go to Solani with her as part of their... Um, which we call it? As part of the little thing they had. The, the tree, the alliance, it's part of the alliance, right? Because Oriana is a child of the ocean. She just, she has this connection. She has a lot of empathy for things, I think is how we decided to interpret that. Um, and she just has an affinity and probably an interest in nomadic culture, which is why she went there. And I think she had a good time, but she's already feeling upset. She's come back and now there's mounted fish in this place. Okay, ask about, uh, that's the same thing that we that I said we can't do. And what's this? Throw a party? Can you throw a party over here? I don't know. Apparently you can. So maybe we'll try and invite some of the other folk that we know. This place is going to be so full. But we'll try. Let's see if we can invite some of the, the kids or something to visit. Maybe we can invite Galaxy and Sephira, something like that. Soul wants to be friendly with Styria. See, this is the kind of whim I want to see. This is the kind of whim I want to see. And Zelda, Zelda, give me something interesting. Try not to be like Oriana. Meet another vampire. What else? Admire art. See, we have plenty of art here, I think, that we can admire, which is great. Okay, Queenie, give me something I can, oh, there we go. I like that, she wants to try with Lady Soul. So the Queen is really trying with Soul. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I really want a romance in this generation because if we don't have a romance in this generation, we probably won't get a romance uh, in the next one because everyone in the next generation are cousins. All the ladies are cousins. They're going to be cousins, I'm telling you. So we don't have anyone they could pursue a romance with. Um, so the next generation is going to be a no romance generation. I'm sure they'll still be interesting. We'll be able to work something else out. I mean, they could have romances, but they won't have romances with each other, if you get what I mean. So yeah, it's it's a bit it's a bit strange. It's a bit strange, I know. But then again, we haven't even had romances for a while. I think two generations we haven't had any proper romances. Um, what the hell is this? Um, liquid Rush. Well, we don't have Liquid Rush, but we can enthuse about interests with someone. See, look at Zora. And she can actually swim outside. She can do that because she's an alchemist. She's not going to die from sunlight. But okay, Oriana, I think, wants to invite the youngsters to come and visit. So let's try and do that. We'll try and invite the youngsters to come and visit us. I think that might be nice. I think that might be quite nice if we can get around to it. Um, let's see. We just want to have a house party with these guys as the hosts. And then we want... Oh no! So we can only have a party with the folks here, it seems. So only the people in Salvadorado. Okay, well, we won't do that. Um, instead, she wants to become inspired. Well, I think if you take an inspiring, a thoughtful shower, that should help you out. So let's go freshen up. She's already freshened up, but she's gonna freshen up again. Uh, come on, let's go, let's go. We want you to become inspired for whatever reason, I don't know. And Soul. Soul wants to be friendly with Wisteria. Look at them. They're getting so fascinated with the TV. Um, what am I saying? Friendly? Friendly? Yeah. Uh, let's express admiration. So, they're having a grand old time with, with all this technology. I think we have a computer in here as well. All this technology, all this these TVs that we don't have back at the castle. What strange, strange things, strange contraptions these people use to entertain themselves. But, uh, yeah, the vampires are indulging. Okay, Zelda. Let's see, let's find you a nice piece of artwork to admire. There's quite a bit around here. Um, like, I think, does this count? We can admire this if you can reach it. So, she's gonna try and do that. Look at all of these sentiments. So many sentiments everywhere, with everyone. Um, she doesn't have any sentiments for Ariana though. They're still friends, I think. So that's good. Still friends. Okay, so that made her happy. Where the hell did 215 simoleons go? I don't know, it went somewhere. Okay, Queenie wants to chat with Lady Soul. Let's, um... 
smooth apology, she still can't apologize. Hmm. And what's this? Uh, growing closer from quality time. Yep, okay, so both of them are growing closer. But none of the ladies have had, we haven't had a natural romance happen, which makes me so sad. You guys remember with Lady Kali and Ambrosia? It was a natural romance that happened while I was following their whims. I mean, I've been hoping for something ever since, but no, nothing of the sort. Nothing of the sort. Um, even with Narcissa, she was a romantic, romantic vampire, but even then, she didn't have a natural romance with anyone. Morgana had to force herself on her. But let's see, enthused about interests. Are you chatting with anyone? Um, well, not really. Um, let's chat with Oriana. Let's enthuse about interests to Oriana. Where do we have it? Enthuse about interests. Enthuse about, no, interests. Where did that? Let's uh, discuss interests. Let's discuss the interests. And see if that helps out. See if that helps you. Oh, oh. Is that going to help? Is that going to help? Yes, that's nice. It is the afternoon now. Um, yep, everyone, all the vampires like people, people persons. People persons? People people? You guys know what I mean. All the vampires, because they spend so much time interacting with each other. But do you see what I mean by there's not a lot to do in this small abode? Like, it is, I mean, it's not that tiny, but really it's just a place to stay. It's just a place to stay. All the action happens elsewhere. All the action happens elsewhere. It's, it's better for you to stick in the marketplace. Oh, so this is where the fire was. I was like, where's the bonfire? It's right over here. I see it now. I see it. I didn't see it before. But regardless, you, you ladies still can't come outside. You still can't come outside. It doesn't work that way. Um, okay, let's see. What else would you like to do? Oh my goodness, Queen, are you naked? Queenie, put some clothes on. Wisteria, put some clothes on. What are you doing? She's in her second trimester. Ooh, okay, the queen's in her sec- Oh, I can't- I can't see you! The queen is in her second trimester. There we go, we can kind of see. Uh, everything is so close here that I can hardly get my- I can hardly see. We're blocked by doors and we're blocked by all these kind of things. Blocked by- But see what I mean? Um, I can't edit this lot, so I can't add a cauldron in. But, I could add a cauldron to the bar that we were at, the plaza. And that's where Zora might have to go for us to actually make some potions. But, um, yeah, I think that's cool. We might extend our vacation or not. We have another day in Salvadorado. So I think that's fine. Why? Because that gives us one more night to go visit the, um, the rescue. The animal rescue that we want to go see. And who knows what we might find. So that gives us time to do that. And then we'll be able to head back home. But essentially, this is the autumn caravan, guys. It's just a getaway from from normal life, from the castle, from all the drama that's happening there. The queen is relaxed. She's able to come out here away from her own castle and her own territory because we have the soldiers taking care of everything there. So she's not having to worry about a revolt. She's not having to worry about ambassadors who are questioning her every move. She has soldiers who are following their orders and they're essentially making sure that uh, they keep everything under control while the queen is gone. So Wisteria can relax in that regard. But oh, Oriana, you're out here in the pool. Well, I guess if you want to. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. Uh, still a bit dangerous, but I guess she could light a bonfire if she's willing to stay out here. And oh my goodness, Soul. Soul? Are you yelling at the queen? Soul, don't yell at the queen. Look at that. I feel like Soul has a lot underneath that she wants to do and say, but she keeps a lot of it. She keeps a lot of it down. And this is also good because Zelda is um, getting her relationship with the queen back on track. Yeah. Let me check out Zelda really quick. Let's have a look at Zelda and the queen. I think Zelda is... What does it say? Well, at least that's how Zelda feels. Zelda feels as though they're getting closer from quality time. The queen doesn't really have any sentiments about her, but look at this, guys. They used to be friends. They're not friends anymore. And, oops, I was wrong. So she's not friends with Lady Zora yet. They are very close, though. She's not friends with her, but she has more relationship with Zora than the queen. It's because she respects Zora now. But I still think there's going to have to be a little bit more work put in before she 
actually is willing to call Zora a friend. Not an equal, but a friend. So that's kind of an interesting route that the story has taken. And I think this trip has been good for everyone. At least I hope it has been. But, oh, oh my goodness, what, are you, what is this? Insult your sister's fang size? I don't think that's a good way to get into her good book, Zelda. Do you want to be killed? I mean, your sister already knows that you're the one who spread the rumor to the ambassadors. It was a secret for so long, but somehow Isadora found out. Because Isadora is evil and she has her fingers and everything. Kind of like in the shadows. And Isadora told the queen. And right now, Zelda has no clue that the queen knows. But the queen's keeping this piece of information to herself. Who knows what she's going to do with it. We'll have to see with time. But the queen's decided at, um, like at this point, the queen's decided that she's going to let She's gonna let Zelda's behavior slide for a bit. Because one, Zelda is a sister, and two, Zelda has given the coven two very precious daughters. So the queen's giving her some leeway, but as soon as the queen feels as though Zelda's kind of getting too out of line and she needs to use something to incriminate her, then she's gonna use that, that piece, turn it into a serious accusation of treachery and treason. So that's that's where we're at. Anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.